Happy Monday guys, you're watching video 90 and today we are in Lake Eola. We're spending a little bit of family time together and of course I had to film this video so that's what we're doing here. You're not seeing the water because well the sun and lighting, not going to get into that but today we are talking about listing your property around the holidays. Each year I get this question and it's always about this time of year and it's, hey, should we list now or wait until the holidays are over? And every real estate professional has their take on it and their opinion and some are going to say, yeah, wait until the holidays are over and list at the new year and others are going to say, list now while supply is down and demand is still there. So today I'm going to go over some of the facts and some of my opinions about listing during this time of year and hopefully it helps you make a decision. The first thing we're going to go over is the supply and demand. I've looked at the last three years of real estate data in Brevard County and that's what we're going to cover now. This graph represents new listings entering the market and as you'll notice, December is traditionally the month where the fewest amount of new listings are entering the market. This graph represents all for sale units on the real estate market and a trend that I've noticed is if you look at the last quarter of the year, the listings are fewer and they start picking up in quarter one and sometimes peaking out whether it's in June or March. So if listings on the market are demonstrating the supply side of the cycle, then the demand side of the cycle are going to be the under contract units. So as you'll notice here in November and December in both 2017 and 2018 represents the fewest amount of contracts that were written in those years. And since there were fewer contracts written in November and December, this translates into a slower January and February in terms of sold units. And since the holidays make up much of quarter four, I wanted to show you the last three years of data on a quarterly basis. As you'll notice in quarter four of 2016, for sale units were down, but they had a relatively good amount of contracts and sold units. It's the same to be said for 2017 and 2018. You're showing this time of year, and if someone is actually looking at your property, more than likely they are probably very serious. I say that because when people are down for holidays or if they have family in town and they're actually taking the time to go out and look at property, they're probably not going to be the ones that are out there kicking rocks. They're going to be very serious. So we're looking at very serious inquiries for the most part. Not to mention during the holidays, this is the time of year when most people do have some time off. So it might be a little bit more convenient and practical for their schedules to look at property during this time of year. Now, of course, there are some negatives to listing during this time of year. Um, there are people that decorate their homes in a certain religious preference manner uh, and that could tell a lot about you and about the way that you and your family live so that might eliminate some of the buyers out there that are looking at your property based on religion alone the other thing is yes there's a smaller demographic of people that are shopping during this time of year so demand um, is shorter or smaller but either way it's a very tight group of people that are very serious um, but the risk is yes you're not going to get as much exposure and foot traffic as you would during maybe some of the peak times of year like let's call it June or May. And the other negative is maybe the inconvenience of scheduling showings and having your property shown. So maybe you are having your house decorated or it is decorated and you have family in town and of course boom you get a showing request and yeah it can be really annoying and inconvenient but remember that those people are probably serious but either way, it's an inconvenience. So really what it boils down to is if you have the luxury of time, if you are extremely motivated and really just want to sell, I wouldn't delay. I would go ahead and put it on now and just risk the time of year. Uh, you never know what's going to happen until you put your property on the market. Um, I've shown you all the data, shown you all the stats. We do know that there is a smaller amount of demand and a smaller amount of uh, supply, but either way, properties are still closing and they're still going under contract. So thank you guys very much for watching. If you have any questions, go ahead and put it in the comment section below. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have anything that you want to add about listing during this time of year, maybe you have a bad story or a good story about it, feel free to write it in the comment section. Other than that, you know the drill. I'm actually going to show you the leg first and then I'll see you next Monday. Ooh, ooh.